morning class 10th in the last class i had discussed the features of commercial farming and today i will teach you one type of commercial farming which is practiced in india is the plantation farming or plantation agriculture so first of all what is plantation agriculture what are plantations so plantations are very very large fields which are called estates okay that means when our agriculture is practiced on a large fields called estates this type of agriculture is called the plantation agriculture it is a form of industrialized agriculture okay so it is a form of commercial farming where crops are grown for mainly for sell that is the main objective of commercial farming sell okay some crop crops are sold as raw materials to manufacturing industries or partially processed and value added before selling the products to large companies for further processing so therefore i said it is a form of industrialized agriculture the raw materials are sent to the to the industries okay for uh, for processing next feature is it is a single crop farming means in this large field only one crop grow okay single cropping or mono cropping that is the speciality of this type of agriculture like uh, rubber tea coffee cocoa spices coconut fruit crops like apples grapes oranges okay they grow in a, a big area it is a capital intensive and demands good managerial ability technical know how sophisticated machinery fertilizers irrigation facility as well as a transport facility that means the success of agriculture plantation agriculture depends upon this good transport facility okay and the processing units generally are set very near very close to the plantations the plantation fields okay so a large amount of capital is put into building roads buying machinery and building factories to process the crops harvested from the plantations plantation owners also invest large amount of their capital on fertilizers and pesticides okay fertilizers and pesticides fertilizers are applied to plantation crops as frequently as this crops use up nutrients from the land quickly okay uh, since plantations usually grow one type of crop that is mono cropping pest attacks can cause total destruction of the plantations therefore pesticides are used in huge quantities to prevent crops from being entirely destroyed by pest so use of fertilizers and pesticides are very high in this kind of farming now it is an export oriented agriculture means most of the crops grown in plantation agriculture okay that is mainly grow to export export purpose and they have a life cycle of most of the crops they have a life cycle of more than 2 years okay so maturity time is quite high next is it is confined with tropical areas that means both sides of equator so plantation agriculture is generally successful in tropical area okay that is very close to the uh, equator both sides of equator as i told you fertilizers are applied to plantation crops as frequently as these crops use up nutrients from the land quickly now uh, what about the laborers due to the large size of a plantation a lot of labor is needed 
to tend to the crops, okay, which can take care of the crops and work in the nearby processing factories. Now most of them, they are migrant laborers housed near the plantation and taken care of by the plantation owner. So they get all the facilities, housing, lodging, fooding from the, in most cases from the plantation owner. Okay. Okay, now which are the important plantation crops in India? These include tea, coffee, rubber, sugarcane, banana. They are the important plantation crops in India. Now this type of agriculture has developed mainly in hilly areas of northeastern India. Okay, as we know that tea is mainly grown in Assam and in Bengal, that is North Bengal, that is uh, Darjeeling, in West Bengal, and in the Nilgiri, Anamalai and Cardamom Hills, that is in Peninsular India. Nilgiri, Anamalai Hills and Cardamom Hills in Peninsular India. Coffee, mainly grows in Karnataka. So, students, these are some of the important features of plantation agriculture in India. Next topic is cropping pattern. Before I start cropping pattern, you must know what actually are crops. When plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large, when plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large is called as a crop. Okay, so now you know what are crops. A uh, cropping pattern is what? So cropping pattern comprises all components required for the production of a particular crop. Okay. Or we can say it can be defined as the proportion of area under various crops at a point of time. Now cropping pattern in India is a dynamic concept. Why? Because it changes over space and time. It is a yearly sequence, in other words, it is a yearly sequence and a spatial arrangement of sowing and fallow on a given area. In India, the cropping pattern is mainly determined by rainfall, climate, temperature, soil type and technology. Now the cropping pattern in India can be presented by taking the major crops into consideration as the base crop and all other possible alternative crops. It is very important to identify crops and their sowing agroclimatic condition so that they can be categorized. Like for example, the wheat, barley and oats are taken as a one category. Now in India there are three main types of cropping system followed. One is monocropping or monoculture that is single cropping. In this only one crop is grown on farmland year after year. Next is multiple cropping. In this system farmers grow two or more crops on farmland in one calendar year with intensive input management practices. And third is intercropping. Intercropping in this system, farmers grow two or more crops simultaneously on the same field in one calendar year. Okay. Now next topic is the cropping seasons. So we have three important cropping seasons in India. That is Rabi. So actually agriculture season is what? The time period between means sowing and harvesting is uh, the cropping season or the agricultural season the time period between the sowing and the harvesting so we have three important cropping seasons in India Rabi, Kharif and Jaid now let us see the features of Rabi crops in India now these are those agricultural crops that are sown in winter that is from October to December and are harvested in the spring or summer 
that is from April to June in India. Now this Rabi word, it is derived from the Arabic word that is for spring, Rabi for spring. The major Rabi crops in India is wheat. Wheat is the major Rabi crop in India. It is followed by the barley, mustard, peas, gram, then season, onions, tomato, okay, oats. Important producing states are Punjab, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh. Now, rabi crops are quite successful in these areas. What is the main reason? Actually, rabi crops, they need a low rainfall in the winter season. So, precipitation during winter months due to western temperate cyclone. That is one of the important reasons. Okay. Uh, these areas they get winter rainfall due to western cyclone disturbances that we know uh, that is 50 to 75 centimeter rainfall or more than 75 centimeter rainfall that is required for the proper growth of rabi crops and the success of green revolution okay is also the reason for the success of uh, or the growth of surplus rabi crops in these area especially in uh, Punjab, Haryana, Western UP and parts of Rajasthan Okay, so these are some of the features of the Rabi crops in India. So students, in the next class I will discuss the other two cropping seasons, the Kharif and the Jai. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you.